Hi, Chris Matson here. And now, the practice itself. Picture a sailor on uh, an ocean with strong winds and tides. When a person is moving in the head and the ego, uh, the tides and the winds are governing them. It's kind of like the sailor is not governing the sails or the rudder. When a person moves into the heart, now they are taking control of the rudder and the sails and going on the path that leads home. And in that moment, they are exactly where they're supposed to be. And you are not your thoughts. You have thoughts. You are not all of the things you own. You, you own things. There are things around your world. They are like the tides and the winds. Oftentimes, we cannot control the tides or the winds, but we can use them to set our sails to move us in the direction we want to go. Now, the practice itself is so simple. It's, it's beyond simple. It's the simplest thing there is. And what it is, is simply focus on the heart. Focus on love. Focus on being. Focus on this now moment. Being perfect, whole, and complete. At this moment, I'm in a beautiful cold. It's incredible here. But yet I hear an airplane above me. I'm not thinking, oh, that airplane is, is bad or anything. It simply is. It's like when I'm in meditation and thoughts pop up. Uh, they're kind of like birds going through the sky. I can observe them. So I, I will observe. There is, now the airplane's gone. By the time I even, you know, I focus on it whatsoever. And so now the key is, is in accepting all that is. Now, an alchemist uh, knows about, like if you have, there, there's this old saying or whatever that an alchemist can turn lead into gold, but they need even the smallest grain of gold in order to do that. I think of that more as a, as a metaphor in that exactly what we're talking about here, which is if you have even the seed of an idea within you, you can focus on that and allow it to expand and grow. The Buddha said that even a blade of grass will be enlightened in time or that a person, as soon as they hear the word enlightenment, they have no choice but in time to become enlightened because that seed is within them. It's kind of like that. And now we are governed by whatever we focus on. And so mindfulness is the key word here. We become mindful of love and all its attributes. Any attribute of love, or the heart, we could say, is carries within it all the other attributes. So if you're focusing on compassion, just sending out compassion, what happens with that is serenity is attached. There's a certain amount of joy and happiness and bliss and surrender. All these beautiful attributes of love itself, of the heart, are attached with it. So in your practice, you can focus on any one attribute of love in the heart, or simply be in the space of love. Now, the ego's job, the, the mind's job, is to keep you out of the heart. And so as we all know and laugh about, uh, when we're in meditation, the monkey mind just keeps coming up with stuff. Oh, I got to go pee. The, oh, that clock is so loud. Oh, did I forget to turn off the stove? Oh, I have to have a bath. Oh, I got to pick up the kid, you know, on and on. 
uh, these things, right? And that's the function of the ego. So what we do again, it's just like the sailor at sea, now with the rudder, the governing the rudder and the sails, we watch those things, just like the sailor would watch the tides and the winds, but we're no longer governed by them. We simply allow this state of being, this love. Now we're in a world where it's the people are mainly still governed by ego. And so in that, we recognize that we don't feed off their energy, we give them our energy. That's what it's all about. So it's think of it this way. You're a, a pure glass, a jar of water, and now you can put things in the water. Say you put lemon juice or bleach or, you know, toxins, whatever. They are things that are in the water. They're not the water. So what you're doing in your mindfulness is you're simply removing the things that are not the pure love the, from the awakened heart. So it's your mindfulness. Walk in mindfulness. Let your thoughts be mindful. And as the, the ego is doing its job of keeping you out, keep returning to it. It's kind of like you're sailing and you let go of the rudder and sails and for a bit. You don't beat yourself up over it. Simply return. Give, be gentle with it. Yourself. And in that, spend lots of time. It's the mindfulness is not simply when you're sitting in nature meditating. It's when you're at a red light, you have 30 seconds. Let that be moments of bliss. You're talking to someone. Be mindful of how can I love them and bring peace? How can I end their suffering in this moment? Somebody says something that's really charging you, triggering you. Rather than being triggered, how can I resolve the pain and the suffering? How can I move this whole dynamic into love? That's the practice, and that's how we have an awakened heart. Namaste.